Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to Raising Vibrations with myself, Simon. And, uh, welcome to Chart of the Day, and uh, this will be the analysis or inspiration for the 15th of October, 2015. So uh, before I get into the actual chart itself, um, I would like to say once again, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to this channel and also that you are inspiring me to do these uh, chart of the day experiences and that you're getting something out of this. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. So in the last uh, chart that we had prior to this um, video, we looked at the nature of empowering ourselves. Okay. We looked at the nature of how we can uh, look at the nature of reality and life and not feel victimized by it sometimes. And it can be incredibly difficult sometimes to experience those uh, situations where we feel robbed uh, by circumstances and we have to surrender to that. And it's an incredibly powerful uh, experience with Pisces. Okay? Pisces teaches us that there are circumstances and situations out of our control and you know, it teaches us a deeper connection towards our spirituality. Okay. So today, for the 15th of October 2015, we've got the moon at 20 degrees Scorpio, okay? And the sabium symbol for that is a woman drawing aside curtains to the sacred pathway. And I would really want to use this opportunity to explore and expand what I mean when I talk about this over here. For so many, like, uh, days and months and years that have been you know, passing through or we've been experiencing that passing through, we've become more and more awake to the reality that things that we thought were real are actually just illusions and, or, you know, that we weren't really paying attention and that it's important to forgive ourselves for a circumstance and situations that we have maybe acted out of ignorance and we weren't really awake to. Okay. It's a natural progression of, of consciousness. It has to go through those cycles in order to awaken itself. It's like the veil, you know, having um, little pierces, holes being pierced through it. And eventually over a period of time, it becomes, you know, the holes become wider and wider, wider, and then you see pure white light in terms of yourself. So what we have here is this Uranus square Pluto story that's been going on for the last two and a half years. We've had the Pluto uh, in Capricorn, destroy old structures and so on. We've got Neptune move through Pisces, creating inspiration and loss of inspiration and loss of direction and finding meaning and such. And we've had Saturn move through Scorpio. And we've reached a point within our collective where we've, we, we see, okay, there's something behind that curtain that we're not being shown. And now we're at a point where we're going, okay, what do we do next? And this is so incredibly crucial. This point right now, in my view, is probably even more crucial than the initial waking up period. And the reason why is because we actually have to now carry this vibration into this new space that we are seeking to, to move it through, which requires dedication, which requires work. It requires a sense of waking up in the morning and having devotion and commitment. Devotion, Neptune, Pisces, Commitment to the story, work, Virgo. And you can see there's a polarity here. Now, at the moment, the kind of more intimate signs of developing this necessity around balance and equality and harmony. Now, it's super, super important that in order for us to create this kind of karma yoga story of back and forth, back and forth, we need to start establishing relationships with people so that we can expose ourselves to a diversity of value systems, opinions, thoughts, and ideas that will eventually allow us to bring through and carry through this new direction. Okay. One person cannot do it alone. We need, we need armies. We need like tons and tons of people joining groups, creating groups that are representative of your own philosophy that is deeply rooted in the nature of devotion and the nature of bringing through the collective consciousness that is of what your awakened state is about. Now, the Saturn moving into uh, Sagittarius at two degrees here and the moon for just this day is really giving us this space to go. We now looked beyond the curtain and we see that there's a sacred pathway that each of us hold dearly within ourselves. Each of us has a specific role to play. Okay. 
Virgo, specific role. And the Saturn through Sagittarius is asking us to, in the next two years, explore that. Seek it out, expand, expose yourself to a diversity of things. And to, at the same time, allow yourself to bring more of your personal like identity structure, the things that mean something to you, your authentic voice, to bring that out, okay? And to allow that new philosophy and that new direction and that, that deeper connection to nature to be present within the way that you act in this world. And it's like, if you're awake to the fact that we need to alter the course of humanity, looking behind and recognizing the distortions and the, and the, the non-illumination that's occurred, okay? we've woken up to that place, we need to change it, then unite, inspire, and empower. Empower Capricorn. Inspire the whole of the Sag archetype there and unite the Libra axis, which we've already worked through, and the Virgo Pisces axis of connecting, building the bridges between people. Now, the way that you go about doing that is by at getting in touch with people, creating an idea and going, okay, I'm going to create a community. Go onto Facebook. Create a community that inspires you and then start sharing that stuff. Even take it one step further, right? Use the program that I highly recommend that you get. It's a program called Zoom. It is a program that basically allows people to connect. You've got Skype as well. Like start connecting with other folk. Break the curtain that keeps you feeling separate, okay? Open it up and say, me and you are the same people and our illusions of separateness keep us from thinking that we can't connect to other souls and share ideas, explore and expand. This is the time where we actually start stepping into this role and empowering ourselves and beginning that path that we have so worked for in terms of opening and unveiling the veil of illusion that keeps us in the 3D. Okay. Amazing guys, I really hope that this inspired you in some way, shape, or form to start acting. Use this as your daily, your two-day reflection and integrate this into yourself. And I will speak to you again Simon later. Take care. Bye-bye. Vibrations and strategy. And uh, today I'm just going to quickly share with you um, some information on a membership program that I'm currently holding on my website and uh, what it is that I offer. So what I would like to do is just show you precisely what I'm actually offering and why it is that um, I'm encouraging everybody to participate in this experience. And um, <clears throat> the first thing that we're going to do quickly is go to the website raisingvibrationsastrology.com and uh, you'll come to the main page which uh, looks something similar to that. If you've just watched the YouTube video that will be present in the link, uh, the link will be in the description below. Okay. So you go to memberships over here and you click on that. And what you have is three options. Okay. I have three options here available. I've got a one year subscription, a three month subscription and a six month subscription. And, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's like a gym membership for your spiritual growth, basically. And, uh, every single, Every single month, I use the new and full moons as opportunities for us to come to a point in space within our lives and hold space within ourselves regarding soul growth, a lot, you know, soul growth, basically personal empowerment. Okay. And so this is what the, the main idea about the membership is. So the same thing that you do when you go to the gym, you go there to train, to work out, to strengthen your body and so on and so forth. Well, this is something that's more of a spiritual gym. Okay. So what I would like to show you is the options. The one year membership is a $285 experience. Okay. Which uh, gives you about $626 um, over the whole entire year in terms of what you get from it, plus the discounts. So you get a 15% discount on all readings or uh, webinars and workshops, workshops that I hold. And every single month you get a full and new moon video, which is about 45 minutes long. Okay. These updates every two weeks and they really go in depth. And there are two on my site already, as I've just recently started this. So you can actually go ahead and have a look at what those entail once you've got the membership. And I'll give you a quick uh, sneak preview of what it looks like. You also get access to uh, three current MP3s that I have on my site at the moment. That is the Saturn Return, 
Saturn and Sagittarius and a personal empowerment MP3. And you also get um, the Pluto, your Pluto house sign. Okay, it's a 45 minute MP3 that's specific to you. And in that video, it talks, I talk specifically to how to access your soul's um, journey and what it's about and why it's there, etc. And then on your birthday, you get a live solar return reading. Okay. So that's what the one year membership is. It's a fantastic package in the sense of what I give in terms of what you give back to me in return. And so that's what that is. The three month membership is something where it's 55 bucks and uh, you basically get the new and full moon reports every two weeks and you get access to the three uh, MP3s, okay? The six month is 95 bucks and again, the same thing, discounts on all readings, webinars, workshops, and of course you get the full new moon updates, right? Access to the three MP3s and of course your Pluto house and sign, okay? Now, once you've actually signed up and made your payments and subscribed to the membership, you'll have access to these three tabs, MP3s, full moon and new moons, workshops, and your solar return. When you click on the solar return, it will take you to a place where you go and book that in on your birthday, of course. And then whenever the the new and full moons are ready, which will come out uh, alongside the articles, because that's what the articles are for. The articles, as I can see over here, let me just show you astrological updates, new and full moon reports, and yeah, they are, okay? And so what the, the updates do is they take all the information that I've written and I distill it. I put it into something that is really workable for you, okay? So I take it one step further. So that's what you'll do. You'll go to that, you'll read the article, and then you'll watch the new and full moon update, and it will give you this grounded perspective, okay? And you can click on that over there. Now, of course, this is... Um, Restricted access. Maybe I can log in. No, I haven't lost my password, so I'll just log in. Let's see. There we go. And so there's the new and full moon that's available to you at this point in time. And the next one will be coming up soon. Fantastic. Well, I really hope that that uh, inspired you in some way, shape, or form to feel like this is a commitment you can make. Um, I will honor it, of course, all the time when it comes down to the, the new and full moon reports and your MP3s and solar readings. So if this is something you're interested in, um, you know, Go ahead, uh, click sign up, and it would be lovely to actually have you participating in this experience. Until then, take care.